Hey girlfriends, it's Gabrielle and Aishelle here. Let me do a quick disclaimer before this video. No, before I even take this bonnet off. <laughs> I've been neglecting my hair, guys. It's been, I think, two weeks, maybe more, since I last washed my hair. And I've been playing with it a lot, so I know it looks like a bird's nest. If not in the front, definitely in the back. So don't laugh at me. See what we're working with all right the front looks okay the back is a bush today i'm going in with the garnier fructis hydrating treat one minute hair mask i'm just using this as my pre-poo and i talked about this a long time ago probably since when i was transitioning i like to use the garnier fructis conditioners for pre-poo they're cheap sometimes i get them for free with my couponing if you're interested in seeing how to coupon i actually have a new channel and i talk about that on my other channel it's a home channel so just throwing that in there shameless plug uh, but anyways, I am going in with the conditioner as a pre-poo and just going to just get that through my hair to help kind of detangle because like I said in the beginning, it's been about two weeks since I last washed my hair and this is about the third time that I've done the same thing. So in the past like six or so weeks, I've only washed my hair three times, which is very different than what I'm used to which is why I said I've been neglecting my hair, which is probably not the best time to be doing it because it's the winter time and it's dry. So I'm an accountant and it's the beginning of a year. So that means it's busy season. You guys know it as tax season, but every accountant is not a tax accountant. So I just want to get that straight because everyone thinks that I do taxes and I actually hate taxes. But anyways, I have been working crazy hours. So unfortunately I have been putting my hair on the back burner so yeah I I really need to change that but just just keeping it real with you guys that is what is going on plus I recently had a death in my family so yeah like I said it's just it's just a lot going on personally but anyways moving on to the shampoo I'm using the inner sense hydrating hair bath for my shampoos shampoos there's plural doing it twice the first shampoo is usually to focus on my scalp and also the first time I put the shampoo in my hair uh, clears the product buildup and the oils that may have accumulated on my scalp and hair uh, for the past few weeks that I have not washed my hair. So first shampoo loosens the dirt and then the second one I think actually cleans your hair. So most times you'll see that the if you wash your hair twice or if you wash it once you'll see that the first the first time the shampoo doesn't really lather because it's doing all the work of getting all of the dirt out of your hair. So the second time you apply the shampoo, you'll see much more lathering. So here's the second shampoo. And as I just said, there's more lathering and I'm really focusing it on the strands. For today's wash day, I'm actually using the Pattern Beauty Treatment Mask. Now, this one is supposed to be for definition and curl elongation. Now, this is my second time using the mask, I believe, and I made the same mistake 
that I made the first time. So the first time I actually recorded it too, but I didn't post it because I didn't like how it didn't really work for my hair. The instructions clearly say to apply it on wet, detangled hair before or after cleansing, depending on your preference. So that's one thing I did not do. I did not detangle my hair before putting the mask on because I usually detangle my hair with the conditioner or deep conditioner in my hair. So that is kind of a downside because it just doesn't work with the way that I typically do my hair. So I'll have to use it again and actually follow the instructions on the jars. So that's really on me for not reading the instructions or the suggested use. It says that you're supposed to apply it to wet detangled hair. You let sit on the hair for five to 10 minutes and then after rinsing it out, you deep condition with a pattern, heavy or intensive conditioner. So I do see that in the ingredients there is protein that's like top five. So it's more on the side of protein. I haven't used a protein deep conditioner in a while but when I used to use them, I don't think I ever had to go in with a moisturizing conditioner after. Like it's either protein or moisturizing or a protein and a moisturizing like balancing conditioner. Um, so it, it, I think it's just funny that it says to go in with something else after it. So I'm, I'm, um, as I'm editing this, I'm going in and reading some of the reviews that people have left on this product. First off, there's a lot of five-star reviews, which is, is great, but there are a few of the first reviews that I'm seeing are like one, two, three stars, and they're like, never again, no, I'll pass, not at all up to my expectation, or you have to mix this with another conditioner. I think I might have to try that next time, mixing it with a more moisturizing conditioner. I don't know. Maybe I just haven't used a protein conditioner in a while and I just forgot what it was like, but I don't remember it being this bad. And it could just be because it's been two weeks since I last washed my hair. I do notice that the longer I go without washing my hair, the more single strand knots, you know, it's, your hair is dry. It needs water. It needs to be washed weekly. So I, there's, a, there's a few things that have gone wrong in this video, but I will definitely have to try it again under better circumstances. With this product, it, it just made my hair too hard to detangle, but here I am pressing on. I tried to add water to give it more of a slip and that helped out a little bit, but after a while, I got tired of doing it, so I just started to use my Innersense Hydrating Conditioner because I know that I get a good slip with that and it's easier for me to detangle my hair. As you watch me finish detangling my hair, I'll just let you know the products that I use to style it because we do skip that part in this video because my phone died. So I use the Pattern Beauty Leave-In Conditioner. It's to help define and moisturize. And then I followed it with the Pattern Beauty Styling Cream. It's for rich moisture and definition. Like I said in the beginning, it's been a while since I last washed my hair, since I last moisturized it, you know, so I wanted to really put that moisture back in with moisturizing products. All right, so my camera died yesterday when I was in the shower, so I just went ahead and braided my hair. I did two braids in the front. I did not worry about, worry about parting. So I did two braids in the front, and then I did one braid coming down the back here, and then three braids going down the back in the middle. So same thing on the side, two, then one going in the back, because I don't like pulling the back hair with the braids that are up here. So anyways, I'm just um, taking the ends and using a bobby pin and making it flat to my head. So I use a few things. I use the Pattern Beauty Leave-In. First time using both of these, this is the cream and then I use in the middle, it's always the most kinkiest 
porous part of my hair. So I used the, it's a 10 Miracle Leave-In product. And I just put the leave-in, put the cream, and um, combed it out, and then braided it. So it's not perfect. There's no parts and then the one in the middle, that's the thickest part, it's like really chunky. But anyway, I have this scarf here from Natural 85 um, Melanin Hair Care. This is the only one, I have two scarves. This one and um, this blue one that my sister-in-law got me for um, her bridal shower. So I usually just go like this and then just twist it. And I always, feel, I always feel like I don't look right in scarves, but I always get compliments when I wear them. So, I don't know, I just feel like I have a big head already. And the scarf just adds to that, but um, this is how I'm gonna do it today because I have no other choice. Y'all, I thought I was going to be able to take the braids out and wear it as a braid out for a couple days, but I ended up keeping the braids in and wearing my little scarf all week, which was a nice change. I had a protective style in for a week and it was protected because the scarf is actually really good for my hair too. I don't wanna be walking around in my little dookie braids. And so this is the look. I could wear dangling earrings actually. That might look better. Um, but I can also, I have this here, some jam. I don't know if I have any. So I'm using the Curls Blueberry Bliss. Curls Blueberry Bliss, actually. I love this one. This is the Curl Control Paste. And it is so good. I used about half of it already. It's very soft. Um, it doesn't, it has a nice hold, but it's not too hard. You know, I did have an edge brush somewhere. I don't be doing my edges, so I don't know what I'm doing. I got my little edge brush. I got this for free from African Pride, actually. And yeah, I'm just gonna do that to both sides. I do want to do a protective style. I'll show y'all a link in the description box of which one I'm gonna do. I already did it before, like a couple years ago, this brand. You know, I used to get a lot of free stuff when I first started, but I haven't been, I haven't really been answering my emails. People email me and I, I've been so busy. As I explained in the beginning, in the voiceover, I'm an accountant and I it's tax season, busy season for me, so it's busy. Um, I don't have time, that's it. So yeah, I do wanna start getting into more of that this year. Um, I like getting free stuff. Or money for videos. I did a lot of that in like 2020 when I was home. And, you know, it was just that ease of not having to actually commute to work and just have more spare time, you know? Plus, everything was shut down and there was nothing else to do. So I got some deals then. But yeah, so this is the final look. I told you I'm gonna put some tangly earrings on, put some jewelry and makeup, a little, a little bit of concealer right here because. My boyfriend's dog is gonna be put down today. That's why I'm trying to rush to get there. After that, I'm going to hang out with my mom's side. My papa is turning 81 this year. So today's his birthday. So I'm gonna go hang out with him, spend the day with him. And yeah, so this is the final look. I'll probably put a picture up of how I actually finished my look. But this is it for now. <laughs> if you enjoyed the video, go ahead and give me a big thumbs up. Also, consider subscribing to my channel, clicking the bell to be notified whenever I post. And until the next one, I'll see you later. Bye.